Hello everyone, my name is Stealth Jacob, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. Last episode, we did some stuff in the Isle of Armor DLC. We, uh, we received a new Pokemon, which is awesome. I received my, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, in Squirtle. So we now have a Squirtle, which is awesome. Alright. I'm just happy to have a, a Squirtle, like, that's awesome. I don't, even, it can giant max, which is awesome. But I'm just happy to have one. We could have chosen Bulbasaur, may, that would have made more sense team comp wise, because we already have a Teleon, but eh, I went for my favorite Pokemon. So let's do that. And yeah, we also collected some max mushrooms in the uh, wood. We know we collect them in a cave. And then we had max soup, I guess, over here. And right now we need to go talk to Master Mustard, so let's go talk to him. Yeah, we've been doing a lot. We're completing these trials, I guess, which is cool. Oh. Huh, perfect. Now it's sure to work. All that's left is to fire it up with the on button, so here we go. Let's push it. Grr. Cripes, it powered down. It must still need more watts. Hmm. So, does my XP charm seem to be working as intended? I don't know. Some sort of machine made out of junk parts look like a Pokemon? You like it? Yeah, it's neat. I thought you might be the type. That's my Cramomatic. And just to be clear, it's the invention of the century. It's my very own brilliant take on recycling. Though it doesn't do a thing right now since it's out of power. If I had just enough watts, but my mummy won't give me any more of hers. Well, I have watts. All it takes is a mere 500 watts, you know? I can give you that. Can give me the 500 watts I need? It take me ages outdoors to like 500. Let's just say our systems aren't compatible. So what was your name again, Stealth Jacob? I guess you're more the outdoors type, huh? I'll feed those watts you gave me into the Cramomatic at once, and power on. Cram. Oh, perfect. Put in four items you don't need, and you'll get one new item in exchange. If you put in four ap of the apricots that go over here in the Isle of Armor, then you might even get a rare Pokeball if you're really lucky. Sure, we to use my cram matic as much as you like. Oh, cool. I'm going to test it out. Let's combine items. Alright, I need to find... Where are the apricorns stored? Oh, right here. Let's see, I, I'm gonna put in some green ones. Put four green ones in. All right, we gotta save, I guess. Cool. All right, what'd I get? We obtained a Pokeball. You're lacking one or more items, ending combination process. Oh, so we just get a regular Pokeball. Okay, that's cool. Alright, let's talk to Mustard. There you are, Stealth Jacob. Clara, thanks for coming. So what's this all about, Master? What did you want to tell us? I've decided that you two will now take the Master Dojo's final, last, ultimate third trial. The last ultimate third trial. What's that? So basically this is the last trial? Yes, that's the gist of it. You two are the only ones who finished the second trial. You pushed each other to greater heights and helped each other grow. So I'd say it's finally, it's finally time to see who is stronger in a Dynamax Pokemon battle. We're going to battle, that's the last trial? Yep, the rules are simple. Whoever wins will complete the trial. The winner will be granted the secret armor of the Master Dojo. This is it, finally. But can I? 
Nope. <laughs> the battle will be held in the battle court behind the Master Dojo. The court is a power spot, so you can Dynamax to your heart's content. I've got to get going. I need to get there right away to prepare my pure heart for this. I'm going on ahead, okay? You can laze about like a slowpoke and take as much time as you need. Well, I will. I have a plan. Alright, so we get the battle against Clara. She's got talent, that's for sure, but it's caused her to slack off. She's never felt the need to try hard at anything, I guess. Even with her training here at the dojo, I can tell she's doing just the bare minimum. But things have changed since you arrived, Silk Jacob. Maybe you've helped awaken some sort of poison and driv and drive in her. Still, I only hope that motivation isn't put towards anything mischievous. Okay, so I guess we get to battle her. Oh, he's playing on a switch. I cool. Remember, head to the battle court behind the dojo when you're ready. It's a game which a lot of Pokemon of Square Pokemon appear. That's awesome. I like that he's playing a Switch game. That's nice. Alright. So I realized... Do we? I think we still have those mushrooms, right? That we collected last episode? We can use them to Gigantamax a Pokemon. Alright. So we can give Max Soup to... Well, Grimmsnarl already can G-Max. I was going to give it to Inteleon, though. Let's give the G-Max soup to Inteleon. Then it will Gigantamax. Is that alright? Of course. Inteleon is now capable of Gigantamaxing. Alright. I just remembered that, yeah, we need three mushrooms to do that, and we got, we got to keep our three from the challenge we did, so... Yeah. So now... Inteleon can Gigantamax. That's cool. Alright. I guess we'll just go battle Clara. I don't really care. Let's do it. Let's win this challenge. Ah, <clears throat> oh, this is an awesome looking stadium. It's huge. Is she picking a side or something? Hello. You're here. When I beat you, I'll get the secret armor. And then I'll become a poison type gym leader. I've got to win no matter what. I'm going to go all out and totally beat you. You ready? Yeah, okay. Let's go. Looks like the two of you are ready. Everyone's going to watch. Good luck. I'm cheering for both of you. All right, you two, take your places. The Master Dojo's final trial. Ready? And go. All right, we're challenged by Master... Or, or not, not Master. Pokemon Trainer Clara. Let's go. Send out Skorupi. Alright. I'm definitely going to do the Stealth Rock Strat. Sounds good to me. Alright. I'm not holding a single thing back anymore. Time to settle this fair and square. Oh, and maybe watch your step. Looks like there are some toxic spikes. What? Oh, you... Are evil. She set up toxic spikes. What? How dare you. That's okay. We'll probably still win. I have confidence. Alright, get off the stealth rock. <clears throat> yeah, I noticed that when they did the zoom out, there were like purple things on the ground. So I didn't know what that was. The toxic spikes, though. That's pretty evil, you're not, not gonna lie. Alright, Colossal. Alright, 
Yeah, as long as we can still win, though, that'll be good. I should have given better directions. You've got this. Uh, I don't know about that. Alright, Colossal, you're doing good. If we can, I want to get Intelli on the G Max at some point. That would be really cool. Sent out Weezing. Alright. Oh, the Galarian one. Alright. Just gonna do as much damage as possible. Alright, we got the Quick Claw. Nice. That's not going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, the poison's going to be annoying, but... Yeah, if we could take out, like, two Pokemon right now, that'd be really good. Alright, Flamethrower. Alright, there we go. We took out two of the Pokemon. It's not bad. Alright. Yeah, we can survive one more turn. We might also faint in the process. We still have a Whirlipede. I thought you would have evolved it by now. Alright, Quick Cloth, nice! That's gonna get us an extra KO, maybe. Alright, Colossal's doing work! Thank you, Colossal, you did great. Even though you're gonna faint right here. Sorry about that. All right, there we go. Nice. Good work, Colossal. Okay, I'm gonna send in Inteleon because I'm gonna G-Max him. I wanna see what that looks like. There's no way I'm losing. I ain't letting it go to the bitter end. Slow, bro. Oh, he has a new design. Darn poison. Alright, but we got the stealth rock too. Uh, G Max Hydro Snipe. I'm gonna do that. That sounds awesome. Alright, what does this look like? I'm really curious right now. Let's see. Oh, that looks sick. Look how tall we are. Watch out, audience. One dose of Clara's poison, and then there's no turning back. Hmm. What does Slowbro look like, Dynamax? I wonder. Is it normal or does it. Oh, okay, I thought it could gigantamax. I guess not. He's got a cannon arm, though. That's pretty cool. Alright, Hydro Snipe. That's pretty sick. They say the dose makes the poisons, so have seconds. Max Ooze. Yeah, that didn't do too much damage. We should be able to win with the Hydro Snipe. Alright. Gonna go for it again. We should win. All right. Oh man, that's a good. I like that move. That's good. I'm glad we did that. We get starter. All right, we did it. Good work, Intellion. Got a couple level ups as well. Even with the toxic spikes. Trap, we still did it. But I didn't hold back. I gave it everything I've got. But it wasn't enough. The victor has been decided. The one to complete the third trial is you, Stealth Jacob. Hooray! That was amazing. What a fierce battle. You both gave it your all. Oh man, I totally lost. Well, this stinks. I do everything, even cheat a little, and still lose. I don't expect a young, talented kid like you to really get it, but... 
I was really trying, you know, as hard as I could. Maybe it's time for me to give up on my dream of being a gym leader. Once they find out what I did, I'll be expelled from the dojo anyway. You could tell the master that I cheated. Oh, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like we should, but I don't want her to give up on her dreams, though. I'll say I won't. But why? It was supposed to be a fair battle, and I cheated just so I could win. That's your strength still, Jacob. Kindness towards your Pokemon and your rivals. Master? I should apologize on, Car on Clara's behalf, too, as her master. What she did was wrong, but she didn't want to be beaten by her rival, that's all. She's a good, hard-working student. Alright. Sorry, Stealth Jacob. As for your punishment, Clara, you're going to be... You're going to look after the Pokemon in the dojo for six months by yourself. What I mean, yeah, that's a lot of work, but is that all? Of course, let's work on strengthening your heart. Okay. Alright, everyone, things are settled here. I'm so proud of you both. You mustered so much effort and tried so hard. I got teared up that I couldn't even see half the battle, but what I saw was amazing. So moving. I'm tearing up. Stealth Jacob, you gave it your best and triumphed even when faced with an unfair challenge. To you who have completed all the trials, I grant you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. It'll take some time to prepare, so go ahead and think, get things sorted out. And that's all, gang, as you were. Still Jacob. I, uh, well. We got Clara's leak card. Oh, okay. You're really strong. Okay, bye. Alright, we did it. Alright, now we gotta speak to Mustard again. I'm gonna read the card, though. I'm curious. I like reading the cards. They're fun. Clara. Clara was originally an underground pop singer. She promoted herself as a star that had both cuteness and the... Uh, ver I don't even know that word. Uh, poison. <laughs> she energetically held live concerts and other events, even selling some Clara-themed collectibles that made that she made herself. But in spite of everything, she only managed to sell eight copies of her debut album, Crazy for Clara. She decided becoming a gym leader would help her gain more popularity and has been working towards that goal since. She chose the poison type because it matched her image and there was less competition. That's true, there's not a lot of poison type gym leaders. So yeah, that works I guess. Alright, we gotta talk to Mustard. There you are, keeping this old man waiting, huh? Since you've completed all three trials, I gave you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Now then, come on out. That's adorable. <laughs> Bear? This Pokemon is in fact the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Cub Fu. I know, I know, it's tiny. But raise it with diligence, and it'll become strong enough to see you through any battle, just like a suit of armor. No opponent will able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential. Problem is, it's a bit shy. It doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. 
So I was thinking, Stealth Jacob, maybe if it joins with you and your adventure, that'll help it break out of its shell a little bit. So take care of Kung Fu, okay? It's in your hands now. Sure, I'll take the Kung Fu. Come on, Kung Fu. I believe in you. We can do this. We got this, Kung Fu. Kung Fu became your Pokemon. Awesome. Kung Fu's data was added to the Pokedex. It's a fighting type. Kung Fu trains hard to perfect its moves. The moves it masters will determine which form it takes when it evolves. Uh, you can go to the box for now? I guess? Now then. The first thing for you to do is to become best friends with Kung Fu. You need to build trust. Kung Fu hasn't really had a chance to explore the world outside the dojo, so... Maybe it'll become better friends if you let it have a look around. Maybe take it to a spot that has a great view of the Isle of Armor. I'll have my students standing at good spots, so just keep an eye out. And of course, having battles or camping out together will also help you become more friendly towards each other. What else? Oh, I know. I hereby grant you permission to keep a Pokemon out of its Pokeball here in the Isle of Armor. You can now let a Pokemon... Let the Pokemon at the head of your team out of its Pokeball and take it for a stroll. That, just like... Wait. Is that the same as it was in the, uh, like, Heart Gold and Soul Silver games? Once you're... Best buddies will start Kung Fu's training in earnest. Just so stop by and let me know once you think you're ready. <clears throat> uh, okay. So I guess we have a Kung Fu now. So, what, we have to build friendship with it? Is that how that works? I don't really know. It's level 10. Alright. Hmm. Okay, so it's got a couple of good moves. I mean, it's got Rock Smash, Endure, Leer. Eh. It's got high attack and low special defense, which is probably good. Um, for now, though, I think I'm just going to explore the island with Kung Fu in the box. I don't know if that matters or not. I haven't... I don't really know what I need to do with Kung Fu, but... Yeah, it's just supposed to become friendly, so I assume that means... Aw, oh, Colossal, you're following me! Alright, I have to test things. Surfetch, how tall are you? Oh, you're pretty short. Nice. I just have to be curious. We got Grim Snarl. Eh, about my height. So that's awesome. We can now run around with Pokemon, which is really cool. We got Runarigus. <laughs> I just have this thing following me. That's pretty cool. Alright. We got Inteleon. And then Corviknight. Oh, Inteleon is just really tall. That's awesome. So yeah, this was a feature they had back in the, um, yeah, back in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I believe. Uh, Corviknight's huge. Look at that. Alright, I'm gonna send Colossal back up front, though. Yeah, let's actually, like, catch, let's, do, let's catch some new Pokemon and stuff. Haven't done that yet here. Is this Baneary? No, that's a, wait, no, that is Baneary. Alright. But yeah, we're going to start catching some of these new Pokemon. Alright, level 60. Oh yeah, we got the Master Ball. Don't want to use that. We got to be careful with that thing. Right, I'm going for a Quick Ball. Alright. There we go, we caught Baneary. That's awesome. 
Alright. So yeah, we got a lot of Pokemon to catch here. Might as well just get a start on it. I'm also going to later on, in between episodes, look up what I need to do with Kung Fu. I'm assuming I need to, like... I'm assuming I need to build friendship with it. A wild cat. I don't know what this Pokemon is. This one's new to me. They're level 60, though. Which is not bad. Go for another quick ball. Ah, he broke out. Alright, oop, not that. I'm gonna go for flamethrower? It might, I feel like he might be a steel type, but I hope not. We'll find out. Oh, well, that didn't last very long. Alright. I mean, either way, this is going to be a great place to grind for experience and stuff. It's a chancy right there. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to tank a flamethrower. You have so much health. Yeah, I, I won't go for the quick ball on this one. Soft boy. Oh, I forgot how annoying Chansey is to fight. He's got healing moves and stuff. Alright, this might be a challenge. Maybe get it with a burn or something. Yeah, I forgot how annoying Chansey is to fight. Alright, that did not do much. Alright. for the flamethrower. Hasn't used the healing move yet, so that's good. Ever since the first turn. I'm gonna go for one more flamethrower. Healing wish. But it failed. Okay, that's good. Alright. Let's go for... Ultra Ball. Ah, dang it. Okay. Yeah, Chansey is going to be hard to catch, I think. Alright. Let's try again. We're so close. Oh, come on, Chansey. Stay in the Pokeball. Oh, no, what is that for you? Not very effective. Come on, Chansey. Stay in the Pokeball. Oh, boy. This is becoming a problem. We're going to keep trying, though. We got 30 of these things. We got plenty of time. Man, this is not easy. Okay. Okay. Keep using double edge. I guess you're hurting yourself slightly, right? I don't even know if that's even working. I just gotta make sure I don't throw the ult the master ball. That'd be dumb. That'd be pretty bad. Oh boy. Okay. I mean, luckily our Colossal's the tank, so there's a chance he can't really hurt it. But you gotta get in the Pokeball. Ah, oh, we're getting close, but not quite. Oh no. I think that's a healing move. No! Out of curiosity, do I have any timer balls? No, I do not. Okay. Alright. 
I think I'm just gonna try and KO this thing then. If I can. This Pokemon's somewhat difficult. It's got a ton of HP, I know that. Go for an ancient power, why not? Oh, we got a stat boost. Nice. All of our stats got boosted. That doesn't happen very often. There we go. That was a tough fight. We almost caught it, but not quite. Well, that's a lot of XP, though. So I'm okay with that. Alright. Uh, oh, Colossal. It scared me. Oh, I ran to a Baneri. Alright, we'll battle this and then just end off the episode. Alright. But yeah, um... Not really sure what next episode's gonna be. If we're gonna just explore around or if we're gonna do Kung Fu stuff, I don't really know. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm probably gonna do some exploring. So, yeah, that will... Unless I figure out what to do with Cub Fu right away, which I'm maybe I'll look it up, I don't know. I'm assuming it's just friendship. Alright. Okay. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Pokemon Sword. If you guys enjoyed the episode, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, you can click the subscribe button right here. But anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. See ya!